A dendritic ulcer or dendritic epithelial keratitis is a linear branching ulcer with terminal bulbs caused by herpes simplex virus. Herpes simplex viral keratitis is the most common source of infectious blindness in the western world. It is caused by herpes simplex virus 1 and very occasionally by herpes simplex virus 2. It usually occurs in the recurrent form of ocular herpes and contains live virus. The earliest sign of active viral replication in the corneal epithelium is a discrete punctate epithelial keratitis. Within several hours, these lesions coalesce into a dendritic pattern. The symptoms are those of foreign body sensation, pain, redness, watering, photophobia and diminished vision. Signs are ciliary congestion with mild conjunctival congestion. Dendritic ulcer is usually unilateral. It may be single or multiple but more commonly single. It is seen as a linear branching ulcer with terminal bulbs. The terminal bulbs are characteristic of herpes simplex etiology. The epithelial borders are raised. Fluorescent staining occurs throughout the length of the central part of the ulcer, whereas rose bengal which stains devitalized cells is taken up by the swollen epithelial cells at the ulcer border. There is diminished corneal sensation and preauricular lymphadenopathy. Diagnosis is clinical. Coming to the course of the disease, most cases of herpes simplex viral epithelial keratitis resolve spontaneously within two weeks, though antiviral therapy hastens it. Others may progress to form geographic ulcers. Differential diagnosis is for conditions in which dendrite-like lesions occur. These are called pseudodendrites. Examples are herpes zoster keratitis. Here the dendrites are smaller in size. There is minimal fluorescence staining and no terminal bulbs. Acanthamoeba keratitis, there may be a history of contact lens use, swimming in brackish water and absence of response to antivirals. Healing of a corneal abrasion can also mimic a dendritic lesion. In keratoconjunctivitis medicamentosa, there will be history of topical medication use and very rare tyrosinemia type 2. Here there is a pseudodendritiform keratitis with hyperkeratotic lesions of palms and soles and mental retardation. Treatment is with topical antivirals in the form of 3% acyclovir ointment 5 times per day or gancyclovir 0.15% gel or trifluoridine eye drops 8 to 9 times per day. Debridement of the ulcer edges with a dry cotton tipped applicator helps in reducing the viral load and helps speed resolution. Lubricants may be used to relieve discomfort. If the intraocular pressure is high, anti glaucoma drugs may be given and cycloplegics may be given if there is pain to relieve ciliary spasm. In pure epithelial lesions, topical steroids are contraindicated. Oral acyclovir is also effective and may be given in a dose of 400 mg 5 times per day. However, the more common indications for oral acyclovir is to reduce the rate of recurrence of epithelial and stromal keratitis in patients with frequent debilitating recurrences. And for this indication, the dose is acyclovir 400 mg twice a day. These are some of the complications. So that's it for today.